Sculpting rotla is an art. Think of it as sculpting play-doh and you will love to prepare rotla. Look at the perfectly reason to our rotis. Namaste, welcome to Bauna's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make Jowar Roti, sorghum flour flat bread. It's gluten free, vegan. Ancient grains have become increasingly popular in recent years. Faro dishes and quinoa recipes are becoming commonplace, but do you know about sorghum? It might not be as well known, but it definitely packs a punch when it comes to nutrients and versatility. Not only is sorghum non-GMO, gluten-free and sustainable, it has an impressive nutritional profile too. Each 3 quarter cup of cooked sorghum packs 5 grams each of protein and fiber, plus iron, magnesium, phosphorus, niacin and vitamin B6. Sorghum is also able to retain all of these nutrients because it does not have an inedible hull like other grains. Sculpting a perfect rotla, a rustic flatbread made using any of the millets. As millets are gluten-free, it is difficult to roll the breads made using only millet flour. In Gujarat, the widely used millets are bajra and jowar both specific to particular regions of Gujarat. Since it is practically impossible to roll the millet breads using rolling pins, they are sculpted effortlessly by those who have mastered this skill by hands. If made proportional, each rotla is evenly shaped and balloons up like a pita, giving us a perfect pocket called rotla, thick flat bread. And rotli, Paper thin flatbreads are the everyday breads in rural and urban Gujarati household. The rural households comprising mostly of farmer prefer rotla, millets are cheaper and provides more energy while urban household prefer rotli that is made with whole wheat flour. So let's get started. Take one cup of jowar atta sorghum flour into the pot on a high heat heat up the water I'm taking one cup water for one cup flour cover to boil faster when the water is hot and boiling turn off the stove and add into the jowarata and mix. If desired, salt can be added to flavor the rotla. Do not add all water at once. Add and mix. Let it cool slightly. In meanwhile, take the mash rack if you have a um, induction or the ceramic stove top like this and then on top of it put the tawa and uh, heat up on a high and now you should be able to mix the dough with your hands now if it is too soft you can sprinkle uh, more flour but if you add water slowly as you go, you should be able to get the dough the way you want. Sorghum dough is a bit of a sticky to work with anyway. So don't get panic if it doesn't work for you for the very first time. And it may also depend on the uh, flour as well. And now, divide 
the dough into six equal portion and today I'm going to show you three ways of making rotla we will need some dry flour you can take rice flour or sorghum flour or other gluten-free flour can be used for dusting the first method is sculpting the rotla with hands for this method keep the dough little firm take a portion of dough about three tablespoon of dough shape into a smooth ball flatten it take some dry flour to make sculpting easy press the dough into kind of a disc like this then using your both palms press to flatten it further as much as you can and there we have our sculpted rotla is ready without rolling board and pin. For the second method, take the rolling board and rolling pin, dust dry flour. Now, if desired, you can also just pat in your hand. It takes a little practice, but it's fun to you know like a roll with a hand as well now roll with a very light hand don't roll too thin otherwise it will break so use very very lightly do not use pressure and roll like this by this time your tawa should be hot as well carefully remove the excess flour and place the roti on tawa and I'm going to keep rolling and keep baking at the same time now keep the temperature on medium and I'm going to show you the third method here I have this uh, ziploc bag I cut and dust dry flour on both sides properly then cover it and start rolling or you can just uh, keep pressing And you can see that it expands even if you press with your hands if you don't have rolling pin. So there are few ways to work around if you really want to prepare this road glass flat bread. Like so and when you are done rolling you can lift the bag and then carefully lift the other side of the bag and if the rotla breaks a little bit on the edge or anywhere just uh, fix it with your hand index finger and the thumb it's that quite easy when done flip And as you can see, I messed up one, my second one here. So you have to be very, very gentle and use as much flour as you need. And uh, I prefer to roll in a hand if your dough is uh, very soft or you can mix the jowar atta with a gehuka atta to make it manageable but second time you will be able to roll I have prepared soft dough because I want my rotis soft 
but uh, if you are okay with uh, just a slightly formed dough, you can do so. All right, let's check this one now. So this is totally gluten-free roti. It takes a bit of a time to cook. So have some patience and keep the stove, keep the heat on a medium. When you're ready to puff the roti, increase the heat to highest and then bring it onto the mesh rack and uh, it will puff up nice as you can see. Don't worry about the cracks. The cracks actually helps to bake roti inside really well as well. And look at this perfect jewel roti. Bring onto the paper towel and keep rolling and keep baking the remaining rotis until you are finished with the dough. Again, reduce the temperature when baking the roti to medium. Look at the perfectly Reason Joar rotis. I'm almost about to get done making Joar rotis. It takes a bit of practice to make rotis which doesn't have gluten in it, like a sorghum flour. It's not impossible though. Look at this perfectly reason roti. Got a little more brown while I tried while I was trying to shoot. So as you can see, all the rotis are ready. As you can see, all the rotis pop up nicely. When they have cooled down, just stack them on top of each other. So that they don't get dry. And Place them into the container with paper towel and cover with another paper towel to make sure they don't get dry and stay soft and cover. I hope you enjoyed watching this video making of gluten-free joa roti please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week you can also visit my website baunaskitchen.com for new recipe tips tricks and ideas in the kitchen you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram pinar is baunas kitchen is everywhere you can also download baunas kitchen app totally free on your ios android and many other mobile devices you can watch me on a big tv screen using roku amazon fire um, or YouTube app itself if you have a smart TV. Thanks for watching and see you soon.